Hey, what's up you guys? This is Steffi, aka in my humble opinion, and today is a totally random video. So I haven't talked about this on my channel, but tonight, it's Saturday, I'm actually going to the Janet Jackson concert. Yes, I thought I would never live to see the day. Woo, girl. But yes, tonight I'm going to the Janet Jackson State of the World tour here in California, Orange County. In preparation for the Janet Jackson concert, I obviously was thinking about what am I gonna wear? And one thing that I really wanted to do was I wanted to wear the Janet Jackson key earring. So for those of you guys who don't know, Janet Jackson during the 80s, specifically around like the Rhythm Nation era, I'm not quite sure she wore this around the Control era, but I know for sure she wore this during her Rhythm Nation era. But Janet Jackson was very famous, well, not just for this, but she was known for wearing one big hoop earring with a key attached. Because I'm going to the Janet Jackson concert, I wanted to wear my own key earring too. And I actually learned how to make my own version of that for literally six bucks. So if any of you are interested in making a Janet Jackson key earring, this video is for you. I am not a DIY person by any means. So if I can freaking do this, like you can do this too. So literally the only two things you need to get a padlock and obviously when I bought this padlock there were two keys attached. It was attached like this but I disconnected it from the padlock and I got this padlock at the 99 cent store. So yeah get a padlock with at least like one key attached for yourself and then you need to get the hoop earrings and I got this nice lovely little pack of five for five dollars at Big Lots and essentially all you literally have to do is once you disconnect the keys from the padlock you open your hoop earring and you literally just put the key through the hoop and that is it there is your Janet Jackson key earring let me see if I could like put it on for effect so I've seen in a lot of Janet's pictures from that era she wore her key on the right ear I'm going to assume that's the ear you wear it on so for visual reference this is what it looks like and yeah that's pretty much it my only tip that I feel like you guys should be consciously aware of when you are searching for a key to put on the earring is obviously one you want to get a key that looks like Janet Jackson's and two try and avoid getting like a huge ass key because then that means it's going to be really heavy on the ear when you do wear it as an earring. So, you know, if you can get a small key of some sort like this, or even better, if you can find like a plastic key that's like silver or like gray, so it could sort of emulate this and it's definitely going to be lighter, that's ideal. But yeah, don't get a big key because you don't want like a fucking brick on your ear weighing you down because you want to be able to dance at the Janet Jackson concert. So I hope this video hoped any of you guys who are interested in making a Janet Jackson key earring for yourself or maybe a friend. Obviously earrings come in a pair and I'm going to the Janet Jackson concert with my friend so this one's for me and this one's for her. After watching this video now you really don't need to buy a key earring online. Before I realized that it's really easy to just make one by yourself I googled Janet Jackson key earring and there were legit some key earrings that were going for like 30 40 dollars and i literally spent less than 10 bucks don't go out and buy a key earring literally just make it for yourself so if you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you know when a new video from me comes out and i hope this video helped any of you janet jackson fans that you know want to wear a key earring for yourself. As always, everything I said was just my own personal thoughts and all in my humble opinion. Tonight I'm gonna see Janet Jackson. Bye guys! <laughs>